What was the call like when you got picked for the World Baseball Classic? Uh, it was like something I've never experienced before. Uh, my, my brother was going to play for Team Israel a few years ago, and I was always kind of jealous of him, to be honest. And, uh, when they called me and said they wanted me to play, I was you know, overwhelmed and honored and, and jumped for the chance. Any hesitation at all? I know a lot of guys, they kind of... Um, no, not really. Obviously, I had to clear it with the Royals first, and they were 100% on board. And then once, you know, they were cool with it, I was like, 100%, let's go. What was the experience like? Uh, jeez. The baseball, the baseball experience itself is just unique in its own, uh, especially playing in Japan and 55,000 people all chanting in unison with something, you know, never seen before. And then obviously getting to Asia and just kind of experience the culture and, and a different way of life was really, really something that you know, I look forward to look back on for my life, not just in baseball. Were you nervous at all when you got to pitch? Um, not really, no. Uh, I, was, I was more nervous for the exhibition game just to kind of prove to my teammates that, hey, you know, I, I can play because I was a new guy. I didn't play in the qualifier, unfortunately. So I was more nervous to just prove it to my teammates that I belong. And once that was out of the way, it was, it was easy going from there. What was your favorite moment from it? Um, it just just overall, my favorite moment was just the, the teammates there. It's, it's, it was really something special to just kind of book together, you know, 25, 28 guys and all be on the same page. Uh, it's something that usually takes a full season to, to kind of get. And it was really awesome to just be able to come into the clubhouse and everybody be on the same page, everybody kind of razzing each other just like you would if it was August when really it's the first games of the year. You mentioned being the new guy, and Israel was fairly veteran-laden of guys that have played in the big leagues. What did you learn from them? Uh, oh, you know, obviously you try and pick guys' brains like Josh Zide and uh, Jason Marquis. I thought they were really... Really good mentors. Obviously, you know they're out there competing, and make sure they take care of what they take care of. Uh, but they're also really helping out the young guys. Um, it was really interesting just to see how, at that level, guys that have been in the major leagues and how they go about their day, uh, picking pieces from their routine and just kind of learning on that level was great as well. What was your preparation like? Because you weren't even in spring training yet for the Royals. Um, you know, I'm, I take my offseason training pretty seriously. Uh, and I've been working out in Arizona with, you know, on my own since probably November. And um, my arm felt good. And obviously coming back from an injury last season was something that was a mild concern. But being ramped up and being ready to go prior to even learning about it, uh, you know, it was no issue at all. Would you do it again? Absolutely. I, I hope they call me in 2021. Something like Yeah, I really do hope they call me because I'll be 100% in. You mentioned your brother. He's kind of been through everything in the baseball world, even reached the big leagues. What have you learned from him, from his experiences? Uh, you know, Ryan has really it's been just one of the most unlucky, uh, unluckiest guys I, I know. Um, but the thing that is uh, astonishing to me is his mental strength. Uh, I mean, I think he's on 13, surgery number 13, 12 or 13, something like that. And, you know, and you call him, he's like, yeah, you know, hey, get yourself up there because I'll be back as soon as I'm healthy again. And, you know, it's something I believe that he will because he's just mentally prepared for anything that comes his way. It doesn't phase him. And that's really the biggest thing that I try and take away from him. So you guys both end up in the big leagues at the same time. How do you pitch him? <laughs> Go right after him. <laughs> I don't care. Uh, you know, he's up. we, we kind of joke a little bit every now and then about it. But uh, no, just face him the same way I face everybody else. Challenge him, see what we got. You know, I take my strength against his strength any day, just like anybody else. And you know, if he gets a hit, so what? Get him out, so what? I'm sure there'll be a little razzing going on, but at the end of the day, we're, we're both in each other's corners 100%.